Hello everyone, welcome to Coder and Boots. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the steps to deploy a website in Docker using GitLab CI. So in one of the previous video, we have discussed about the creation of the Docker image of a website uh, using manual process. So here we are going to dis uh, discuss how we can automate the same using GitLab CI. So I'm not going to explain a lot about this in PPT. So I'll directly get into the, uh, the practical steps. Okay, so here what we have is we have uh, a GitLab repository. So you can have this in your uh, GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket. So wherever you are uh, hosting the code, it works there. Okay, so I'm going to explain it using the GitLab CI. So you can create the similar pipeline uh, based on your choice. So what I have is I have repository and the web content okay so this is my static html uh, and css javascript component so you can keep your website content over here okay and you can have your own name i just kept it like site contents okay and then i have the docker file for it so docker file has from nginx latest and copy the site contents from so copy site contents means basically this directory Okay, so this directory copy the site contents to slash usr share nginx html. Basically, this is the document root of the nginx. So inside the nginx uh, container, if you see, if you go to this directory, this is the document root. So if I place the contents of the site contents inside this html, uh, it will uh, open like or it will serve the web content from there. Okay, so that's the logic. So I have my Docker file defined. It's a very simple Docker file. If you have more steps, more steps or configurations or any other changes, you can modify this according to your choice and make it. In my case, it is very simple. And then next is I have a GitLab CI file where I have the steps to build this, okay, or create an image out of it. So previously I have explained how to create this manually now what will happen is whenever we make any commit automatically a build operation will happen and it will commit the uh, it will create a docker image out of it and it will push it to the image repository of uh, the gitlab itself so i am going to use the gitlab's image registry but uh, if you have a different docker registry uh, like aws ecr or uh, docker hub or any custom registry you can push it there okay so i have one stage here that's a build stage and that stage so basically i have a job corresponding to the build stage i have defined the job over here so what i have used is i have used docker inside docker dind so it's a docker inside docker it's a very powerful uh, mechanism within uh, GitLab. Okay, so what I'm doing is first I'm doing a Docker login to the GitLab's container registry. So the dollar CI user registry uh, will get the value at the runtime. Okay, so this git this value uh, uh, passing will is automatically taken care by the GitLab, and the password dollar CI registry password is also taken care by GitLab, and dollar CI registry this is this gets also the value directly at the time of deployment okay so ca these are gitlab specific variables so basically the ca registry is the url to our gitlab's ca registry okay so if you see in the gitlab uh, repository you can see on the deploy section releases packet registry container registry model registry so in this case we are going to use container registry basically this is the registry so and the dollar ci registry will get a value that is basically the path to this particular registry so this path is what this is a location within my uh, uh, project awesome website and container registry and you will have images created over here so depending upon uh, whatever images we are pushing the image and the tag gets created here okay so if you see i have already pushed one image and the tag name is latest so if you keep pushing images uh, you can see it has 70.69 mb of storage so uh, if you push more it will get more uh, images uh, in this registry okay so it will get automatically created over here and in the script section what i'm doing i'm just basically printing the Im uh, image registry and the tag name okay so this is just to get an idea where is where is it getting pushed and then what i'm going to do i'm using the simple docker command docker build hyphen t okay registry image colon image tag 
okay so image tag i am basically taking it as a variable so if you want to modify this can be modified at runtime okay so by default i am keeping a value latest but let's say if you want to keep some other value we can do it pass it at the runtime okay then first i am building it then second what i am doing i am pushing so already i have done the lo docker login here so if i push this image what will happen docker push dollar ca registry image call an image tag what will happen it will push the image to this registry okay so where is this registry this registry is the container registry within the same project okay it will get pushed so right now if you see the the previous image was pushed one hour ago so now we are going to uh, what we will do is we are going to make a change maybe in uh, the index.html okay so coders website this is the title so we are going to make a change in the title mm. so zero okay okay so here already 2.0 is there right so i am going to make v2.1 right so v 2.1 mm. so let's commit the change okay so what will happen i committed the changes to the test branch you see it got committed okay now if you go to the repository in the build section if you go to jobs okay you can see a new job that gets triggered based on this change so let's see what happened to this the pipelines okay now you see it has something oh sorry there is a problem okay it has something but it didn't get the uh, runner to run this particular task okay because I have configured a docker runner but it doesn't have okay so it is yeah i think it is it is just preparing the runner okay so if you see now it's in pending state okay it is preparing the runner so let's see the pipeline okay so it needs a runner and i have a docker uh, self hosted docker runner in my uh, server okay so let's go to build okay now you see it's running because the runner uh, it was idle so it was uh, it took some few seconds to basically get it active now you see this is the runner container okay so it basically it booted up in less than a second okay it, it booted up right now that's why it took some time so you can see now uh, it's basically creating the build job okay you can see the logs uh, are getting populated so echo my previous echo command right echo ca registry ca image it printed like registry gitlab.com coder and boots awesome website latest so this is the image name and this is the tag name latest is a tag it's a default value that i passed now after that docker build uh, ca registry colon tag right so you can see the uh, logs of this so copy site content to user share html so it copied after that docker push to the registry okay so let's verify whether something got pushed or not so this is the container registry that we talked about right basically from here deploy section container registry okay so in the container registry awesome website okay so you see it has a tag and when was it published published just now okay so a new tag is available it got pushed just now okay uh, that means our build job is success and you see the build job status it is success it's in green color okay so if you go back to you see su past success so if you see one minute ago the build job is success pipelines it's our uh, gitlab pipeline so that pipeline is also success because there is only one job one one step in it okay past now we have the image created 
So now the next part is how to deploy this, right? So I have created a separate pipeline for the deployment. So I kept it separate. So uh, usually like people keep it in two different repositories. But in case this case, what I've done is I just created uh, one, the, the build part in one branch and deploy part in another branch. Okay. So, so this is the deploy pipeline. So this is, uh, uh, we, we can say like, I mean, uh, usually keep people keep it in a different repo, but here you see there is no code. Okay. I have only a pipeline definition. And uh, if you open the pipeline definition, you can see it has only just a fonts single stage called deploy here. Also I'm using Docker and Docker. So what will happen is this, uh, provisions a Docker container. So which internally has all the Docker utils and container. Uh, no, which internally has all the docker related tools and runtime. Okay. So we can build, create docker images within that uh, DAND. Okay. So here what we are doing is we are just uh, doing a docker login to our registry. So it's CA registry means it will get, it will log into the container registry associated with the same project. Okay. So here we have a registry in this section, right? So it logs into this. Uh, registry. If you want to log into a different projects registry, you can use the personal access token or there is a uh, access token. You can create generate access token from GitLab. So you can pass that through GitLab secrets. But I'm in this scenario, I'm using the own projects registry. So I don't know how to uh, manage the credentials manually. GitLab will automatically take care of this. And in the script section, what I'm doing is I'm going, to, I am basically pulling the image tag image right docker pull because as we have already logged into this one so if i if you do docker pull uh, the image name and the tag it will pull the image and then what i am doing is uh, this is a safety step so basically let's say if my container is already running so first i need to stop the container and remove the image right so remove the container so that is what i am doing here docker ps and filter i am using the container name Okay, so I'm uh, at the time of run run. So I'm basically giving the container name as Opsum website. Okay, so what will happen? I filter my running containers with this name. And if it exists, I'm basically stopping it and I'm removing the container. Okay, then at the, as a final step, what I'm going to do, I am going to, I am basically running the image docker run hyphen p port, port mapping host port container port okay 80 80 and going to run with the name container name okay so you can give whatever name you want right then hyphen d it's for detach okay the image name image tag okay so this will take care of what this will take care of deploying the image directly on the server okay on the web uh, on the on the server where you want to deploy okay so uh, and if you see here tags local runner because I have a docker runner running in the uh, the target server so this is my server and I have a docker runner running here so service gitlab runner status if you see gitlab runner is running here okay okay you see there is uh, already something running. So, uh, so what I'll do is if you see the app, uh, status, it was uh, created 18 minutes ago. Okay. Now let's see what will happen when we deploy this. Okay. So now let's go to pipelines. Okay. So let's run pipeline. Hmm. So branch I'm going to select because we are going to select from the deploy, right? Deploy. Okay, and run the pipeline. Okay. So you see there is one job inside that this is the deploy job. Okay. And during the deploy job, if you just check. See, there are a couple of containers getting created using the deploy job. Okay, so this is basically for doing the deployment activity. Okay, let's monitor the progress of the deploy job here. It takes a couple of uh, minutes to complete the deployment because it has to provision the uh, 
the image the dind image contain uh, the uh, provision the container dind container and then it will pull it and it will do the final deployment So it will be referring to the image that we built in the previous step. Now you see it, it's showing success. So let's check the logs. So what it has done is it basically pulled the image. Okay. So you see like I mean it is doing a Docker pull. Okay. And now fetching the uh, changes with git. Okay. Now you see here Docker login. So first it logged into the registry. Okay. So then it logged in you see login succeeded next is it is basically just printing the image name and the tag awesome website latest so depending upon whatever is the uh, tag we configure it will pull that tag I have configured latest that's why it's pulling the latest one after that it is doing basically the docker pull so this is just an echo and here we are doing the actual pull docker pull so pulling the image from code and boots awesome website in the image is up to date okay it pulled the image latest image after that what happened it basically uh, from the docker it filtered the existing container okay so it is checking whether any containers are running uh, with this name so it found a container okay and it first stopped it then it removed that particular container okay so next after that what it did it basically executed the docker run command hyphen p8080 name we are setting with the same container name okay and then this image whatever we pulled right the same image and the tag now let's check the server okay let's clean this off docker ps okay you can see one image over here so this image it was up it was created a minute ago previously when we said it was created 18 minutes ago right now you see it is about a minute ago status it's up right and then it is it has a mapping 8080 okay 8080 right awesome website awesome website is the name so now let's check in the browser what's happening over here okay 192 160 1.12 is the ip you see coder in website coder website v2.1 this is the change that we made right because previously it was v2.0 and now you see in the title bar also it is v2.1 right coders website v2.1 and it got deployed that means in this way developer doesn't have to worry about the deployment he just need to make the changes in the uh, in the git automatically the gitlab will take care of the deployment to the server okay so this can be uh, adjust to, to make the deployment in Kubernetes as well. So that means so we can deploy anywhere so we don't need to worry about the deployment it can be fully automated through the pipeline capabilities in GitLab. Okay I hope this example is clear okay and uh, subscribe to this channel because I will be posting more videos about uh, similar techniques. Okay so uh, if you have any queries or questions please uh, feel free to comment below the video I will respond back. Thank you, thank you very much for watching this video.